Under heavy guard, Adrian Golden walked into a Calhoun County courtroom to learn his fate. This after Golden admitted earlier this week he tried to kill his wife. WTVA's Wayne Herford joins us live from the Calhoun County Courthouse with what the victim had to say during Golden's sentencing. Tanya, you are absolutely correct. Kimberly Sisk is the victim in this case. She took the stand here in Calhoun County Court today to speak to her, uh, the man who shot her multiple times and tried to kill her, admittedly, and that would be Adrian Golden. Now, Kimberly told Golden that, uh, you know, he was the father of her children, but he never was a good father, she said, and uh, Golden, for his turn, was quiet and reserved when he entered the courtroom before the proceedings took place, however. His sister also took the stand. That's Golden's sister. She tried to uh, convince the judge that he was a good man and that he attended church on a regular basis before he was sentenced. But the highlight of the day, as we mentioned, had to be the victim in this case, Kimberly says, taking the stand and addressing Golden in court. <laughs> Still to this day, my family and I have to live. It's, it's not over. Once he gets sentenced, we, we still have to go through this every day. And whatever sentence he gets, he deserves every bit of it. transported to Rankin County, a facility in Rankin County, right away to begin serving his sentence. Tonight, we'll have much more of that testimony from Kimberly Sisk, who took the stand here in court today. Reporting live in Calhoun County, I'm Wayne Herford, WTVA 9 News.